Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of James Speed Shop about the SNL24 V8 Turbo Project. So, new to the channel, on the right corner of my logo, click on it, so you can go to my main page, see all the other videos, or go to my website, jamespeedshop.com, that's over here. So, let's have a look for today. Um, I've got two oil coolers. I'm going to install two oil coolers. Um, Original the M113 uh, has an oil cooler that is uh, that's on the engine with uh, if you can see it over here it's a little bit upwards but there is an oil cooler there that's the oil cooler is just a heat exchanger with cooling water and there is also a cooler in the radiator also in this one because this is an original radiator from a 420. E420, you can see there's here is an intake. There's a an, a transmission cooler heat exchanger in the radiator. I don't really like that because these are tend to fail, and then you got a broken transmission. I got a transmission in it there. That's from a uh, four-cylinder C-class. I bought it for the bell housing because it's the same as a six-cylinder. It was pretty cheap, but that one had damage in the transmission from um, cooling water because the radiator and the transmission cooler had a leak internally and then uh, they break. So, uh, up till I think 1994, uh, they used a separate transmission cooler. So, this is an AN8 connection transmission cooler that I'm going to use. This is an oil cooler, but I'm going to use it for a transmission cooler AN8 little bit smaller connections, that is, the transmission has smaller connections. Uh, less fluid is pumped through it, that is the case, I think. This is AN10 connections, oil cooler. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to use for the engine oil. So I'm going to separate that cooler system. That's the same as on a compressor engine, uh, like the SL55 and uh, E55, that sort of stuff. The compressor engine has a separate oil cooler. There's different plates for it. Uh, those parts are for sale, but fucking expensive, so I'm going to do it a different way. Uh, in the beginning, if they had an external uh, oil cooler, <coughs> they had the same setup as my V12. Uh, if people remember that, there was an oil cooler in the front here. That's like a cooler that's still on this engine. You cannot really, it's, it's, maybe you can see it. There's an, uh, an oil cooler over there. That's like a long. <coughs> long cooler. Um, I also took the dimensions from that cooler and ordered the cooler for these cars to have like the same uh, size cooler. So also people put it in front of the radiator. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I have space behind the bumper. So also for this car, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it will get a 500 e-body kit. So why the fence and stuff. That will be in a different video explaining how I'm going to install that and stuff. But the bumper is in front of here. Uh, I have space here on this side and on that side, if you can see it. You got the intercooler here. Uh, piping is on this side in. There was in the last video. If you don't didn't see it, have a look in the right corner for you. You can see that video. So there will be a cooler over here. Um, my plan is to do something with these lights. Um, of course, these are the fog lights for the for the 500E. They're standard in it. They're normally there's an SL 129 fog light in it. They will fit in here. Uh, I have a plan for that, so I'm not going to use these as fog light in inserts. I don't have a button in the car for that and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's not really necessary for me. And I like to do uh, things in a different way. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to put the uh, coolers on each side. Uh, engine oil cooler will be on this side, I think. Uh, because the other side is also always in the older cars. The transmission cooler is also on, if you're in front of the car, on the other side. That's where they were originally. So, uh, I'm also going to think I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to make some mountings. I have some ideas for it. Because it needs to be mounted. It will be like this, something like this. So it will be mounted like this on the side. So I need to make some brackets for it so it can be mounted in a steady 
good way. So let's have a start. That will be fun, I think. So, bumper is uh, disassembled. So I've got two brackets. Uh, made uh, This is a bracket where the bumper is on, normally. So I made another bracket for this on this side. It's just a mock-up bolt to have it in place. Uh, also on the back side is one. See it over there. In the middle then the bolt for the uh, bumper is coming, so it's the fibbing is pretty good like this. Also on the other side, it's just like a mirror placement. Same bracket on this piece, needs to be all painted. Uh, also on the other side here. So now the bumper will be over it. I could place it more like this, but then the oil lines and that sort of stuff is not that good to reach. So the back one will get a uh, <coughs> 90 degrees one, <coughs> a 90 degree one, and the other one will just have a zero degree one, just upwards. So I'm an, going to make one uh, modification to the cooler uh, setup now, because uh, uh, I will have, have to make one bracket from here that goes underneath the pipe. So this will be supported by bigger bolts in here later on and I want it was it's a little bit there's a little bit of a movement in it because uh, yeah there will also be some oil in it and that sort of stuff so the best is to support it from also from another angle so I'm going to make another support from here to there then some three points supported I think this is, this is the best way so three coolers Oil cooler for the engine, intercooler radiator, and the oil cooler for transmission. Looks pretty good, I think. So I'm going to make those brackets, put the bumper on it, and show you the final result. So both coolers are in, all mounts are done. So uh, what I've done now for the final part, uh, make a mount on the side mount of the, tr uh, of the bumper, so extra mount on the top. They need some. This is just a mock-up bolt, but for there, the one on the top. It's in there. You can see I have the. I hope you can see it. Got both connections in. 90 degrees. The other one is a zero degrees. This will will be for the engine oil cooler. So uh, mount to the intercooler pipe just to have support. So now it's nice and stuck. Needs to go two bolts in it. That's it. Uh, same on this side, also an extra mount to the, uh, the side, uh, up to the intercooler piping. On this side, also a bracket, two times 90 degrees. This will be for the transmission cooler. So the piping will go underneath the car, uh, underneath the car there. That's no mo normally it's steel piping. Uh, I have to have a look if I may be going to make this uh, from uh, Cunifer. And that's, I have to have a look what I'm going to do with it. Or just because in the other car I made it from a pressed hose uh, to the back. But yeah, it's like uh, 2 meters some, or 1 meter 80 or something. So normally there is a steel line and then the last piece, last 50 centimeters is, uh, is hose. For the engine oil I'm just going to use a hose. It's AN10. The other one is AN8. So I will put the... Uh, from bumper to the front, you can see how it looks. So bumper is on, so now you can see how much space it is. Uh, you can see in the need. Have a look if you can see it. It's like the same level as the oil cooler is, or uh, the intercooler is. And you can see here, there's the piping. Looks all pretty good. So in the front, you can see there's some space there. There can flow some air. Uh, in between here, so I have to have a look, uh, maybe make something for it. So you can now see, it's good to see that the cooler is over there. So, oil cooler, transmission cooler in there, looks all pretty good I think, intercooler piping. Um, I have to have a look, if there is any cooling capacity problem, I will make uh, a box around it so the air will go only through it and if I have time I also have to do it I think this side see it 
fits pretty good only have to de-rust everything on here put a good coating on it but the coolers are in so next that I should do is uh, with all the coolers in it I have to do something about the headlamp I think that's the first thing I'm going to do I am going to put a hole in it just in the last car that I built the 190 V12 are also two intakes now I'm going to do one I already have uh, a new headlight that I can use for it um, I also have a set with the facelift uh, markings in it for the, for the different hood uh, that's what I wanted to do that's one of the first things that I need to do uh, and then the intake needs to be turned over because throttle body is on the back uh, I want to turn it over I want I, I think I saw it that somebody did that uh, you have to cut off this piece so I'm going to do that also and have a look how the um, throttle body will sit first have to clean everything out so nothing will drop in also you have the knock sensors underneath the uh, intake so it's also I think it's a shitty place but yeah they need to be on the block so for the rest this is all stuff that needs to be removed because it's it's there because of the closing of the hood so um, thing that I need to do before I want to before I remove this engine to get the clean out of the of everything that should not be in this engine bay is the intake manifold want to be I want to turn it to have the pipe connected over there and I want to have a look what I'm going to do with the oil cooler so there has to be two houses in some way or in need or some way I think in underneath the headlamp is room and I'm very close to the oil cooler so I think I'm going to do that uh, yeah that's it I think for the next video yeah and then I'm very close to having the engine and all the spots in the engine bay ready <coughs> so that's a good thing then I can take the engine out and uh, clean the engine change all the gases and other stuff transmission same um, what's then left then my suspension project needs to be done uh, all the hydraulics and that sort of stuff so enough work to do so hope you like this video if you've got any questions about this video uh, look at my website James Peach the comments over here if you're new and you want to see more about this channel have a look in the right corner for you with my logo click on it on the right corner right corner on this side for you and uh, you can find more about my channel so I hope you like this video all your coolers are in very happy about that all the coolers are in everything fits pretty good so thanks for watching see you for the next video bye bye